Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for traveling with me. <laughs> right? Because a bitch be on the move. So, we're going to get into this message here. You know, if you want to win a free reading, all you have to do, I'm giving them out weekly. Okay? And I have not forgotten, I'm going to announce the winners for last week as well. Uh, of the free reading and also the joint energy healing session. Okay, so stay posted. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video that you enjoy and leave me a comment. So out of two random decks, these cards here were lingering around. So I decided I was going to clarify them because there's a message here. So with the six of cups here, somebody is missing you. Okay, this is somebody from your past. But with the three of pentacles here, I feel like there is something that needs to be brought to your attention about some type of collaboration, teamwork, someone that had some type of shared goals. OK, they were pulling energy together. Now, this could be a third party connected with your person. That is what I'm getting. And now we're going to get into what the heck the clarification is, because y'all get your tea ready. Only take what resonates. It's a collective reading. Um, keep your mind open because some people here are in the industry. Okay. So sometimes these messages get wild. With the three of cups here, there was a group of people. Okay. These people very well, just like this card is here, could be of different ethnicities. Okay. I'm hearing different sexes as well. So there was a group here, a group that came together for some type of monetary benefit. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles also talks about a home. So what I'm seeing here is that for some of you, it could have been co-workers. For others of you, it really was a third party. Maybe your person was married or um, had some type of money invested with this person. Okay, maybe this person was staying at a third party's house at some point of time. Um, I feel like with the Two of Wands in reverse, Somebody didn't know what direction to go towards, okay? I feel like what happened here with the Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands reverse Eight of Wands upright, somebody wants to communicate with you, okay? They want a passionate new beginning with you, okay? But I feel like this person is on the fence about whether or not they want to be in a committed relationship, whether or not they can get out of a committed relationship or a living situation, Um and whether or not you'll even take them back from all the hurt and the heartache that they've put you through with the five of cups here. Okay, this person is very passionate about you. The overall energy is the moon. So this person is concealing a lot of their emotions, okay? I also feel like this person could have gave in to temptation, whether it be, you know, lust, resources, money, whatever. Somebody is very emotional here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, that's the main, those are the main ones that are highlighted here. But we have over here, it says they made a bad investment plotting on you. So what I'm getting is that there is some type of third party person or group. Um, some of y'all, this could even be your family. Okay, somebody got hooked up with a group of people. Um... And ultimately, what they wanted was to keep you and your person apart or to keep you from having the Ten of Pentacles or to keep your person from having the Ten of Pentacles. OK, somebody here, I'm hearing tricked. They tricked your person. They made them feel like they were going to have all of this with them. OK, and that was not the case. So let's get into the clarifiers. So we have the three of cups here. Okay, this can also talk about friend groups, dating, reconciliation, people coming together. Looking good for who? Okay, so somebody here, it looks like somebody was, you know, trying to look good or trying to put themselves out there, I guess, for somebody that they were dating. I feel like this person, they could have went out and did something with the three of cups, went on some form of date or something. OK, involving somebody that has addictions, somebody has addictions here, whether it's like pill popping, you know, smoking, drinking, whatever it is. But I feel like whatever somebody is doing within a group setting, OK, be it uh, third party 
let's say somebody had like a one night stand or somebody went out, you know, drinking with a group of people or somebody was, you know, hanging out with their coworkers, whatever it is, there's some type of revelation that got exposed. Somebody got caught slipping. Okay. Somebody saw something on somebody's phone or they saw some type of proof and there's been accusations. Now this is a max, a masculine energy that's accusing a feminine energy. Okay, that's what's on the picture here, but it could go either way. So I feel like somebody in some type of karmic third party situation, they they did something. Okay, and they could have cheated. Okay, they could have did something for money. They could have did something for even drugs is what I'm getting. And somebody is pissed about it. It's like the conversation of like, you look like you're going, it's, it's like, you know, when someone's getting ready for a date, right? And you just like, okay, like, you know, that person's going somewhere, you know, they, they get their clothes on, you know what I'm saying? They're out the shower. They put the cologne or the perfume on five, five, five on the timer. Somebody knew that somebody was trying to make a change to go away from them. Okay. And I feel like somebody caught, caught cheating y'all for real. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, this is within a home. There was somebody that was stalking your social media. Okay, this is somebody that got mad because maybe they realized that their person either still loves you or has been out there with other karmic third parties cheating. So somebody decided they were going to do some type of full moon dark magic on this previous full moon that we just had. But what they don't realize is that, of course, it was going to be exposed. Okay, somebody here very well could be, you know, in the sex industry or selling their body or doing something strange for some change here. Okay, this also is giving me like sex magic here, some type of sex ritualistic magic that was done on the full moon. Okay, and then somebody could have been stalking your social media to see whether or not this magic that they did impacted your stability or impacted your family or impacted your finances, chosen ones. Okay. So somebody got themselves wrapped in with some type of karmic third party that is clearly um, into spell work. We're going we gonna to keep it real. That's what I'm seeing here. Whatever they were trying to send out to you, though, nope, it didn't happen. Two of wands in reverse. Now these people are confused or this person is confused. Okay, I feel like they were targeting your person um, or somebody was targeting a boss or CEO or owner because they were trying to get money from this person. Okay. So this very well could have been an energy of, you know, somebody wanting your person to stay within a marriage or a family or, you know, within a work setting. And it all has to do because they wanted to keep money from your person or, or, you know, or money that they were either getting or wrapped in with your person. Okay. But see, there's a boss CEO owner. Somebody here had a sneaky link. Okay. Yep. They were hooking up with people for money, monetary gain here. This is what it was all about. And that's the truth. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there was some type of communication. There's some type of karma or truth with Libra about somebody that was doing something that was hidden, that was unconventional, that was out of the box with Aquarian energy, and it had to do with money. I kid you not, man. These karmic third parties, all they cared about was money. They didn't care if they had to do spell work to keep this person away from you, or they didn't have, they didn't care if they had to pay money to have people to come towards you to try to, you know, um, get information about your money, get access to your money, take your money, take a family's money, take a work or a group's money. It's like somebody here made a bad investment, just like it says here. And they were plotting, they made a bad investment plotting on you. So this is somebody that was plotting against you. Okay. These people were all up in your business. Spiritual court is now in session. Karma will be served. So for spiritual court to be here, they were trying to do something spiritual, against either you your person or both of you and it's all behind money and sex passion lust okay and businesses here okay so maybe your person has a business with this third party or maybe it was some type of corrupt business they were working for whatever it is whatever they tried to do it backfired okay we have they made a bad investment plotting on you an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn is involved okay <laughs> y'all this person smiles in your face but behind the scenes is trying to end you 
I'm trying to tell you, your person, I feel like they got caught up in some type of lust and they ended up hooking up with the wrong karmic third party or going back to the wrong karmic third party, okay? Because somebody is tr was trying to end you in this connection here. This is crazy. Yeah, here's your confirmation that whatever was sent to you got returned to sender. So the archangels of light intercepted any type of negative spell work, hexes, voodoo dolls, curses, whatever it is these people were doing. And what they did through the full moon, you know, God is creator of all things, right? The sun, the moon, everything. So <laughs> with him being creator of everything and you being divine beings, being of God, then clearly, you know, they come against you. They're coming against God, which is the creator of the very moon in which they're trying to do moon ritualistic magic through. Volanoid, instant spiritual karma. So now we have over here, it says regrets. They're realizing that you're protected. Now they're praying to God for forgiveness. It says, too bad you did the crime, you do the time. Y'all, <sighs> y'all person got wrapped up with the wrong people. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody got wrapped up with the wrong people. And for some of you with the three of cups and the ten of pentacles the, and, the three, and the three of pentacles, these could be families that work together or these are, these are separate family groups. These could be people in your family, people or in your person's family maybe, okay? S someone that people were working together with within a group for money, okay? It's giving cult coven vibes for some of you, but for others of you, this could have been a friend that was smiling in your face or someone you dated that was smiling in your face or somebody you were married or had shared assets with that was smiling in your face and really had somebody in their energy or, the, them, or them themselves was trying to end you. So you just take it however it resonates. Now, for some of you, they were trying to end, end, okay? You, period. Now, for others of you, they were trying to, somebody here could have been spiteful that you were dating, that you were making new friends, that you were growing, okay? And it got triggered, jealousy, envy, and so en envy. So this person could have been trying to block your finances, block your growth. Maybe this person wanted you isolated from friends, family, okay? It, it was It was a huge, that was a lot of people to come against one person. I mean, and you're not just one person, you know, when you're a divine being, you have spiritual armies, not to mention you also your passed over ancestors. So <laughs> this is, this is a lot that they went through only to be in regret and seeing that everything they tried to do against you, God isn't having it. So with the eight of wands, whoever was trying to do that spell work, now they're being haunted. Okay. Now this, now... <laughs> y'all there's some type of communication here there was some type of a spiritual magic that was done there was some type of tr uh, transfer of energy that attempted to take place but if you take two wands away from the eight of wands you get the six of wands so they were coming for your status they were coming for your money they were coming for your spiritual ranking okay and just to let you know you don't have to be a reader on here OK, or you don't have to be some big musician or um, actor or actress for somebody to try to um, try to come for your spiritual rank that no. When Jesus touched down, honey, he came with with sandals on. He didn't he didn't come in in all the golden glory like he could have. He came as an everyday person. OK, a carpenter's son. So what I'm trying to show you here is that when you have a divine calling over your life, it doesn't matter what your profession is, how much money you have at that time. These people are looking into your destiny. They're trying to see for you and your person what it is that you guys are meant to create here. And they tried to gain access to that energy or steal it away from you or get you into some type of secret society, cult coven, you name it. These people are crazy. This is somebody's baby daddy here. So maybe you had a baby with this person, were meant to have a baby with this person or somebody's baby daddy, okay? With a karmic, karmisha here, okay? Somebody is realizing that somebody's lover was not their friend. No, 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 somebody's, uh, someone was not just friends or not just homies, they were actual lovers. So karmisha been over here hooking up with God knows who, okay? Putting her body out there, trying to make money in a fast way. 
Okay, somebody's karmic third party turned into a fatal attraction. Like, if you if you leave me, I'm going to do this. If you leave me, yeah, see, somebody is salty that somebody don't want nothing to do with them anymore. That's what I'm getting. So they started trying to do magic and everything else could have paid readers in different places. Yeah, gossiping about all your person's business, your business, because they're salty, you're moving on. For some of you, this could be an ex of yours. Maybe you told that ex you moving on, okay? and somebody was salty and maybe they felt like they were going to either try to hurt you to a certain point where you would come crawling back to them or they were going to try to block opportunities for you because you don't want them around to have access to you anymore Ooh, it's giving petty y'all so somebody is in deep regret here okay this is somebody that has a child or children okay or child or children could be involved Oh, damn. It says you are not the father. The results are in. So somebody is in regret because they're finding out that they are not the father of some children or a child or somebody is in regret because um, they couldn't trap somebody with a baby. <sighs> Woman or man, because, you know, men be doing that shit, too. Or somebody is upset. They were thinking a, a ch they were taking care of kids that were not theirs something's going on somebody's holding money over or deeds over somebody's head and a lot of it has to do with something that somebody discovered on someone's phone so somebody could have been over there raising somebody else's kids okay maybe they thought the kids were theirs or maybe they knew that it wasn't only to find out that they taking care of this person and this person cheating on them they have found something on the phone or doing something with money or doing something to try to get them framed or set up. Now this person is realizing that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. It was fake. Okay. So for some of you, maybe this karmic third party didn't want this person spending time with their kids. If you had kids with this person, maybe they were trying to, that's how you know somebody karmic. They don't want you to spend no time with your own kids. This is crazy. Or maybe somebody um, pulled back from a karmic third party and they're upset because that person is no longer invested in their child or children's life. Somebody was doing some magic out of spite, y'all. That's what I'm seeing here. Yep. Ace of Wands. They feel like this person is passionate about having a new beginning with you. They've tried everything they can to copy you. Okay. So they want to do their makeup like yours. They want to do their hair like yours. You know, they could have even tried to do spell work to try to change your body image. They didn't want this person attracted to you. For some of you, this person could have even lied and told people that, you know, they weren't attracted to you or y'all were just friends. And it's a lie. What I'm seeing here is somebody is trapped in their head. Okay. This is like the eight of swords here. So somebody is trapped in their head. Okay. Because somebody was found cheating with the one night stand here. So they know this person is cheating. They know this person is in love with you. Okay. That somebody's uh, wife here is involved or somebody they were living with. Okay. They realizing somebody is entitled, selfish and greedy. Somebody could also be worried about going to jail or somebody coming out of jail. Take it as it resonates. Somebody has a lot of regret and they're ashamed and they're embarrassed because somebody got caught. Okay, and if it if and if it was a poly relationship and they already knew this person was stepping out, I feel like it has to do with money or business practices because we had boss CEO there. So somebody is stressed and pressed, y'all. Up oh, there it is. A whole damn group of people that were working against you are stressed and pressed. They were trying to think of a master plan. <sighs> y'all. Maybe you're exposing something. Maybe you're bringing something to light. I feel like your light just triggers these people's demons. Maybe they were trying to get you to join something or participate in something. Maybe they were going to try to use, you know, lust um, or your passion for your person. It's like maybe they could have infiltrated your person and they were trying to infiltrate you to get you, you know, to get access to your divine gifts. I'm hearing divine healing. So somebody could be sick here and they could feel like maybe... <laughs> you have some type of divine ability to help heal them. I'm hearing a cure. So maybe someone has something that they can't get rid of. And so they felt like if they could sacrifice you, they would be healed. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay. You reap what you sow. God will not be mocked. 
it don't matter, you know, because some of these African, um, not even African cultures, just different cultures, you know, when it gets into the spell, the, the spell work and all that crap, they think that different parts of the body will, will help them gain different things in their life, be it healing, be it finances, and they literally will dismember bodies to do that crap. And I feel like somebody felt like if they sacrificed you, number one, they'd get you out the way they'd have your person. But number two, they could try to take over your destiny and get access to what's, what you have, your spiritual abilities, your finances. Absolutely not. That's not going to ever happen. You guys are divine beings. Return to sender. Everything that they were trying to send you, chosen ones, that was negative. Nope. This is death spells here. And they had plans for your body. Stop playing with me. The moon, keeping this crap concealed. I am kid you not, during this full moon, somebody was doing some nefarious energies. They were doing some nefarious spell work, okay? All because they sold their soul for money. They want, you know, they wanted to, to look better, to have more money, to have more cars. They wanted to be healed because they probably caught some type of, I don't know, if they've been out there, you know, selling themselves as we've been seeing over here in some type of industry you know they could have caused some type of sexually transmitted disease or illness or maybe somebody over here you know I don't know has something going on with their um their lungs or some form of cancer or there's someone here that is ill and they felt like sacrificing you would would help them and also keep you away from your person Okay, now that's for some of you. Only take what resonates. But for most of you, someone is in their feelings. They're realizing they sabotage a connection with you. They want to communicate with you. Okay, but this person has dark entities attached to them and they are receiving justice. They're receiving karma. Okay. Yep. Th this very well could be somebody that someone was living with, is living with, had some type of contract with. This could be somebody's ex-wife, ex-husband, whoever the heck this is. They were coming for your business. Okay. Or they were worried about their business facing judgment because maybe they were doing some practices they shouldn't have been. And they were sitting over here trying to keep you in illusions, waiting on communication. Okay. <sighs> While their karmic, Karmisha, was behind the scenes doing all kind of spell work to keep this person confused so that they would not even know what to say to you or communicate with you. I kid you not, deaf. They were trying to end your connection, end you, sacrifice you. See, it's, it's something about your DNA. It's something about your calling. It's something about your healing that somebody wanted access to. And they felt like if they ended you and got you out the way, they could have full reign with your person and they could try to take over whatever money, assets or spiritual gifts that you have for some of you. Some of that or all of that. Uh, uh. They're under heavy spiritual judgment. You can forget about it. There is no way in hell. Yep. Because your person already wants to end things with these people. Somebody is realizing that a karmic third party is, I'm hearing crazy, like done lost their mind, completely possessed. You see that here? Yep. We have the two of pentacles and the seven of swords. Yep. Somebody was trying to be sneaky to try to take you out. Maybe they were strategizing. Yep. This could be people that um, this person could have enlisted the help of, you know, they could have went and paid a practitioner or they could have, you know, went online, thought they were, you know, paying some reader to do spell work on you. Everything that those people sent out, it went back to them and the practitioners, y'all. They under major spiritual judgment for what they did. All because, <sighs> listen, they wanted to keep your person. But your person with the two of pentacles, two of cups, your person's been thinking about leaving them for a long time, for some of you years. For others of you, this person is already, somebody is already invested elsewhere. So this karmic was just trying to have control over your person. Your person wants to be with you. And I feel like this karmic is obsessed with you. For some of you, this karmic, has, like, if they're in a poly relationship or something, I feel this karmic has a crush on you. I feel like this karmic is like trying to be you, like trying to take on your energy. What the hell is this? Yeah, and this and and y'all, somebody was sleeping with the straight devil here. I ain't gonna lie, they were sleeping with the damn devil. Okay, the, these people, these with dark entities. There's there's drama in this karmic connection here. 
Okay. Yep. I kid you not. Some of y'all, your person already left this karmic. They already realized this person was, was, was demonic, was trying to end them, was trying to hurt you, was trying to frame them. Yep. Y'all are spiritually protected. The divine has stepped in. And the king of pentacles here. Some of y'all, you're you going to say adios to this situation and you're going to have a new person. But for a lot of you, this person wants to marry you. And I feel like this karmic knew that. This is crazy, y'all. Yeah, this was happening towards the divine feminine. Okay, there was a mom here. And I already, it says do a vibe check to see what they were trying to do. I already clarified it all right here. This is what they was trying to do. They were plotting on you, okay? Smiling in your face, smiling in your person's face. It's like that woman was like, oh, okay, yeah, I got you. You know, like, oh, okay, yeah, we cool, we straight. And then she decided to uh, reach out to other people, okay, to try to get some type of spiritual work done against you to get you out the way so your person wouldn't want to be with you. This is crazy. Didn't I tell you? Went to a practitioner, baby. Oh, Lord. Not they driving by your house again. Don't they got anything else better to do? Some Cancer Scorpio Pisces or somebody in their feelings. Mad that somebody is done with them. Got ghosted. by Abandoned. Yeah, this person wasn't loyal to them. This person was loyal to their thing. This, <laughs> this is somebody out here that was... Y'all, they done pissed off these karmics because they were playing with their emotions. Now these karmics done lost their minds, doing spell work and everything. It's all backfired. And now somebody uncaught something, most likely they crying. Okay? Y'all, <laughs> put some popcorn emojis. It's too damn early. Put me some coffee and some popcorn. Because somebody, somebody is regretting the spell work that they did. Y'all.